Center for the Ethiopian Educational Information and Communication Technology presents Educational Satellite Television Programs. Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Welcome to today's writing lesson on education. We are going to do a self-assessment on our writing skills. We will identify our strengths and weaknesses in writing. We will interview each other, and we will write assessment reports about how we might improve. We have a lot to cover today, students. We will begin by filling in the self-assessment form on page 60 of your student book. I will read each statement individually. I would like you to rate how much that statement applies to you. Five means that the statement is very accurate and four means that the statement is fairly accurate. Three means that the statement is only sort of accurate. Two means that the statement is not very accurate. And one means that the statement is not at all accurate. For example, consider the statement I am always on time for class. If I have never been late for school, I will mark the statement as being very accurate, or five. If I am late sometimes, I will mark the statement as being sort of accurate, or three. If I am late for class all the time, then I will mark the statement as one. Do you understand? Good. Be sure to follow along with me in your student books. Remember to be as honest as you can. The point of a self-assessment is to help ourselves improve. Let us begin with the reading section. Here we go. 1. I can skim a text in two or three minutes and get some idea of what it is about. 2. I can answer multiple choice questions on a text. 3. I can explain the meaning of a word as it is used in a text. 4. I can make notes of the key points in a text. Next is the writing section. 5. I can follow the seven steps necessary to produce a good piece of writing. 6. I can write different kinds of texts. An essay, a report, a formal and informal letter. Now for the listening section. 7. I can listen to someone speaking and understand the gist of what they are saying. 8. I can listen to someone speaking and take outline notes. 
Next is the speaking section. I hope that everyone is managing to follow along with me. Ready? Nine. I ask questions in class. Ten. I give my opinion and justify it in class. Eleven. I agree and disagree politely with other students in the class. Twelve, I can give a short presentation in class. Now for the last section, independent study. Thirteen, I always do my homework. Fourteen. I always review my lessons. Fifteen, I do extra reading and other work that teachers haven't told us to do. Sixteen, I organize my study time so that I can fit in all my work and other aspects of my life. All done. Students. Go over your self-assessments and determine in which areas you are strongest or weakest. If you got a five in a particular area, mark it with an S to show that you are very confident with those activities. If you gave yourself a two or a one in a particular area, mark it with a W. To remind yourself of where you need to improve, if possible, try to list at least three strengths and three weaknesses. Take a moment to do this now. Students, let's get ready. <laughs> Begin.
time's up. Let's get back to our lesson. Have you finished? Great. Now, please trade your assessment with a student near you, someone you know well. Study the scores carefully. Do you think that they have scored themselves fairly? Are their scores too high or too low? Now, I will ask you to interview your partner about your respective scores. Ask questions such as, What do you think are your main strengths and weaknesses? What are the reasons for your weaknesses? How do you think you could improve? Tell your partner whether you agree or disagree with the scores and offer helpful advice about how they can improve their study habits. Please go ahead and do this now. If you need help, do not hesitate to ask teacher. I will see you in a few minutes. Students, let's get ready. Begin.
Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that your interviews went very well and that your partner offered you some excellent advice on how you can be an even better student. We are going to finish today's lesson by writing a short self-assessment report about our study skills. If you turn to page 61 in your student book, you will see a report outline at the bottom of the page. Please use or copy that outline and use the information from your self-assessment form to write an insightful report. Emphasize both your strengths and the areas where you need improvement. Make a note of the advice that your partner gave you, then describe how you are going to use that advice to meet the goals you set. Here is a tip for writing your reports, students. Remember to follow the seven stages of writing. Do you remember what the seven stages of writing are? Say them out loud with me. They are think, brainstorm, plan, draft, check, rewrite, proofread. Well done! The good news is that we have already completed the first three stages of writing our report earlier in the lesson. So there is less work for us to do. All we must do is to write a draft of our report, check it over, rewrite the sections that need improvement, and proofread it for errors. Get started as soon as today's lesson has finished. When you have finished your reports, please hand them in so teacher can give you feedback. When teacher returns your report, store it in a prominent place so you can refer back to it later in the year. This is the best way to meet your goals. I hope everyone enjoys crafting their reports. In the next lesson, we will discuss our future plans. Until next time, thank you, teacher. Thank you, students.